Why not? See how this goes. <laughs> Smile, Damien. <laughs> morning. I'm not happy. Uh, we can tell. This is actually really nice. Hold on, let me do that. There you go. No. Yes. I love that smell. New car smell. <laughs> this, is... this is it right here. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, if you want to do the Jeep thing, I suggest we go right there. Okay. You wanna? You wanna? We can all go over. All right. Is anybody else in the back? Yeah, they are. Bringing dogs to Subaru, you can adopt. What? Yeah, look at the line already. Oh, cool. Yeah, ready. <laughs> the lights turned off. <laughs> Dad, can we ride off that ramp thing now? Say again. We're going. We're, that's where we're going right now, baby. We won't wait that long. It's gonna move pretty quick. No, it won't. You'll be all right. You'll be like 15 by the time we're done. <laughs> God, you're not helping, Damien. This, this is the cool one. Look at that. Look, is he? Look, 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 look. Wow, that thing articulates, huh? Yeah, it does. At least heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> so that is, no, yeah, it's funny. We listened to it the whole way. You guys all sad almost? Yeah. All right. Oh, we're in the Jeep Wrangler Limited Rubicon. Rubicon is the upgraded trim package, more equipped for off road doing stuff like this. So we're gonna, that is okay, crazy. Drive up 30 degrees. 30, you said? Yeah, we did 31 there, actually. Shows you on the screen. <laughs> that is really cool. Very stable. We are going to drive low for the whole Nearly street simulator right here. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now we're going to go sideways. A little center of gravity, so that's why we don't tip over. <laughs> 22 degrees. Oh my god. Yeah. Very stable. Oh my god. What are we <laughs> even driving on? Now, how fast could you have taken it? Uh, you know, you don't really want to go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 10. Okay. That's probably as fast as I would go. Up the stairs. No longer have to walk. Now we're going down the stairs. That's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We have 10.8 inches of ground plates. Wow. Skid plates underneath the Jeep for protection of the undercarriage in case you're worried about them out. The Rubicons, all four of our tires stay touching right here. That's because we have a button that disconnects the sway bar electronically. It gives you more suspension travel. Yeah. yeah. So that's why the Rubicons are so great for off road. Yeah. We got that flex and that travel. I'm glad you get this basically the same with this thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you get the Rubicon package and the Wrangler and the Gladiator. So you get the disconnected sway bar in there as well. But they got a longer wheelbase on that truck bed back there. That was all really fun, Ah, uh, see? The, the waiting in line was worth it, right? Where's the dimming? Oh, he's like way over there. Never mind. So, anyways, we're walking around and uh, some guy just walked up to Damien and asked him, "What is it that he asked you if you had win if, if you needed I want, windows?" If I want windows. Right, look, right there, windows. <laughs> <laughs> and his response was, I, "I don't have windows. I have Apple." 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, they rearranged this too. A little bit. You can buy these and bolt them onto any vehicle. You can put them on your Grand National. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> God. Imagine doing. Anyways, isn't Nissan like going under now? I didn't hear that. Yeah. They've been like negative for the past who's bunch gonna, of quarters. Who's gonna buy them? I have no idea. I don't think anybody wants to anyway. Well, they had that debacle with that uh, with their CEO. I have no idea. Man. Yeah, he was like, uh, what does what does they call it when uh, they steal money and bezeling? Yeah, no, something like that. Oh, here we go. Here's here's my section right here, the Hondas. I'm taking a picture. There you are. Picture. Picture. And that was a video, so have fun with that. Thanks. <laughs> See, I did that because of the music that's on. <laughs> Daddy, can I see the videos and pictures? Yes, you can. Can I see the pictures? Here's my love. <laughs> Actually, it's a week later now. I'm supposed to go pick up the car technically tomorrow because uh, it's Sunday already. But uh, yeah, I pulled out the transmission. Uh, if that doesn't show you the horrors that I just went through, <laughs> I don't know what will. But uh, pretty much I got it down and I had everything zip tied high so it wouldn't leak out of anything. And I f***ing forgot that one hole for the dipstick. And uh, as soon as I got it down on the ground and it tilted it sideways to get it out the fucking bottom of the car, boom, bunch of transmission fluid everywhere. I got it cleaned up already, but as you can see, it, uh, yeah, extensive, extensive spill. And the part that pisses me off about that is that I am trying to get this floor ready so I can do the epoxy on it. Um, it's just not warm enough. I went with a one part epoxy, like I told you guys before. But yeah, so transmission's out. What's gonna happen next is that this thing is gonna go in the trunk of the 86 once I get out of the show, drop it off at Billy's. Uh, might be getting my other exhaust pipe welded. Uh, pretty much the 86 has a dual exhaust, but the bands on this kit are not, uh, I don't know, what is, what is the right word I'm trying to say here? Are not actually you can see it right here so this is the band that came with a kit and uh, this piece that actually matches the band that is supposed to be so it goes into the side of the muffler when i take that transmission over to anderson's i am going to have him weld this piece to that pipe to the exhaust in the 86 so after this transmission comes back it's gonna go kind of next to that thing over there I'm gonna detail the engine bay. Um, the lighting's gonna suck. If that tells you how I got the transmission out, get a clue. Uh, but anyways, all of this needs to get detailed. Uh, the wiring in here is uh, one of the main things that I wanna tackle. Um, my fuel lines is the next thing. And yeah, pretty much uh, this should look spotless before anything else goes in it. And once uh, all of this is said and done and detailed, uh, transmission engine go into the car. I shall start working on the wiring itself for the Holly and start working the cluster in there, which as you all know, actually I never did the review or not the review, the unboxing on that uh, dashboard, but uh, I'll be doing it here soon. I know you guys can see anything in there, but, uh, but let me fix that. Uh, there we go, flashlight. So, Dash is out. I'm gonna start test fitting the 12 inch dash, the 12.3 or whatever it is that uh, the Holly Pro dash. 
uh, that's what's gonna go in here. I still gotta pull the dash so I can start doing the wiring. Uh, this is where the original ECM went with the XFI, which was under the seat. But now that I'm using the Holly, I'm actually gonna get rid of all of that. Pretty much what's gonna happen is that all of that is gonna go away. I'm gonna reuse the wires that I have to reuse, wires that run through the fuse block and all of that. And then everything else, uh, particularly sensors is gonna get replaced uh, all the way to the sensor and back. Um, I'll try to replicate whatever relays there is, uh, particularly fuel and injectors, all of that. I want fresh wiring and I don't wanna have to reuse any of the old wiring because I feel like it kind of defeats a purpose, but yeah. Uh, that is pretty much everything I got for you to this point. Um, now it's kind of a waiting game. And the other thing that's going to happen is that I'm going to be gutting the interior in this car, sending it to Anderson, having a cage put in. And once the car comes back, we'll start doing some track testing, I guess. Um, as you all know, I don't really take the racing part seriously. I just kind of like to do my own thing. But, uh, this time around... We'll see what we can do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Hit the like button.